So I'm making this video because, like I said, I want to be truthful. And I want to be honest about this hobby. I want to show you the good, the bad, and the ugly, or should I say the dark side of this hobby. And this is one of the worst things that possibly could happen to an Acropora. So recently, I went to my re-club meeting that we hold every month. We, have, we hold a monthly meeting, and at that meeting, we usually get like a free coral, you know. Well, anyways, I picked up this Acropora. It was free free of charge but he had just recently cut the acropora so me you know being me i'm always looking for a challenge and so he, he he put me up with the challenge to try to save the coral you know i took this coral on home with high hopes and i tried to i, I tried to save this coral the following day that i woke up this is what i woke up to uh, was this uh rapid tissue necrosis now this is actually my first time dealing with rapid tissue necrosis, so I was a little, you know, shocked about it. And I didn't really know which way to go. And I didn't even know if it was a, if it was a little too late or could I save it, you know? So me being me, like I always say, I'm looking for a challenge. So your boy, he got to work. I did, I did some research. I did, you know, everything that I possibly could think of doing. And so rapid tissue necrosis, in corals is a condition characterized by the rapid death and decay of coral tissue. It is severe and often fatal coral disease that can affect various species of coral. So I already you know doing research, I realized this is something very serious. And I knew it was very serious just by looking at it. But you know, I'm I'm trying to save it. I'm trying to save it. Rapid tissue necrosis is also something that uh, a lot of a lot of hobbyists don't really know how to stop. You know, so scientists is even still looking for the reasons of what triggers rapid tissue necrosis. And but you know, I can pretty much break it down to that. You know, you got to have you know a healthy system. If you don't have a healthy system, uh, or if the coral takes some type of damage, or you know like the coral did, like he definitely cut this coral. It was a whole colony ready to be fragged. Or you know it, it it changes it changes in alkalinity or something like that might can cause this problem. So and rapid tissue necrosis it don't just affect agropore it can affect hard other hard corals and soft corals too. So the first thing I did was I went to Petco because that was the only place open at the time on a Sunday, and I went to buy this reef deal by Seachem. Uh, I read online that Seachem was a great product to use for things like this, you know, bacteria infections or pathogens. So that's the first thing I did because I know uh, the guy that I got the coral from. I know after he fragged the coral, he didn't he didn't dip in no type of iodine or anything after he finished fragging the coral, and that might cause like bacteria infection. So this was my my last and only hope for the coral. At the same time, though, I had a hammer that was uh, receding too, which looked like it had the same problem. At first, I thought it was brown jelly disease, but you know, taking a closer look, I realized it was just having some problems. So I actually went ahead and dipped the uh, the hammer in there too. Now guys, if you thought it was gonna be some type of hero story where I was gonna save this coral, well, guys, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but guys, look, I lost the Acropora, but I can say that I see a, a lot more improvement a week later of uh, my hammer. After being so disappointed about uh, losing the Acropora though, I went into even more research because I was obsessed with how can I stop rapid tissue necrosis? And I realized I made a few mistakes and that's okay in this hobby. That's okay to make mistakes. That's something that we're gonna do because we don't even know everything about coral ourselves. We don't even know what really coral are. They, you know, it just, this is, they're actually kind of weird if you actually think about them. But out of all the mistakes I made, I feel like the biggest mistake I made was that I also fragged the tips. Uh, reading on Reef to Reef and you know other channels like that, they said you know when a coil is going through that, you don't want to put it into any more stress. Cut pieces off, and that's exactly what I did, guys. I I, I cut the coil, I cut the tips off the acropora that had tissue, and you know thinking that was gonna say you know something of the coral. And no, nah, that just made it worse. But failure is the stepping stone to success. And I realized I also learned some things about, you know, uh, rabbit tissue necrosis and uh, STN also, which is uh, slow tissue necrosis. I learned that, you know, it's important to keep your water parameters the same. It's important to, you know, dip your corals. It's, it's important to make sure the quality of your water, the temperature is 
consistent and it's important to give these things you know adequate living space because they can get bacteria infections from other corals when they're at war with other corals this is part of the process guys this is something that you that you learn from and then you know you avoid it next time so that's why i wanted to bring this bring this to you guys to show you and i also wanted to see what you guys think about it one thing i know for sure is that us humans is really good at killing coral and uh yeah i, I just want to get good at keeping them alive i don't want to be on the opposite end of that you know you feel me but other than that the tank is doing great guys the tank is doing amazing the rest of the acropora in the tank is looking is doing good and i really can't fault myself for this one because i mean I can fault myself for making it worse, but I can't fault myself because the rest of my acropora is doing great. They're just doing wonderful, really coloring up, uh, doing this thing. So, yeah, like I said, guys, failure is the, the stepping stones to success. And I wish nothing but luck to all you out there. And go get go after your dreams, guys. I really thank you for all the support y'all have been giving me lately. And uh, it's really pushing my platform out there. And matter of fact, guys, if you really want to support this channel, guys, the best way you can do it is like and subscribe to this channel because it really pushes it out there into the algorithm. Like when other YouTube say it, it's true. It really, it really helps out the channel when you like it. And guys, I really thank y'all for every, you know, all the support that you already been given. So, man, you guys stay safe out there. Y'all stay blessed up and keep reefing. Let's get it.